all right so now let's continue to the psychometric formulas so these are the common formulas na ginagamit sa industry so h represent the the heat okay so we have this formula 1.08 multiplied by cfm multiplied by delta t this value represents the btu per hour that is a sensible heat hs means sensible hl means the latent heat in terms of BTU per hour, which is the formula of 0.68 multiplied by the CFM or the cubic feet per minute multiplied by the change in humidity ratio in terms of grains. So remember that we have 7,000 grains equals to 1 pound. And then HL in terms of pound, okay, multiply lang yan by 7,000. So 0.68 multiplied by 7,000 is approximately 4,840 multiplied by the CFM. So, pag ginamit natin ito, dapat yung ating humidity ratio is naka pound. Okay? Pound per pound. And the total, of course, is the sum of the sensible heat and the latent heat. So, the formula is 4.5 multiplied by the CFM multiplied by the delta H. Delta H is the change in enthalpy. Again, the unit in English is BTU per pound of dry air and then kanina may binanggit tayo yung sensible heat ratio that is basically the ratio of sensible heat versus the total heat okay total heat again is sensible plus the hl so uh, maraming confusion dito uh, there's a lot of engineers na sinasabi na empirical formula to okay hindi yan imp empirical these are actually derived formula so let me start with the sensible heat as represented 1.08 multiplied by the cfm multiplied by the delta t so sa undergrad we are very familiar with this formula q is equivalent to mcp delta t wherein delta t is the change okay change in temperature and then cp is the specific heat constant at constant constant pressure okay p sorry p and then this one is the mass okay pagka flow rate simply lang mass flow rate and this one must be in terms of flow rate also okay so ibig sabihin kung ito ay kilogram per second this will be in terms of kilojoule per second as an example okay so kaya lang yung heat na yan yung q na yan ginamit dito or ni represent dito as h so subukan natin this formula is actually the sensible heat formula qs qs or sensible means the change in temperature without changing the phase okay so derive natin yung formula na hs okay gamitin ko na yung h means heat so m cp delta t now make your observation ito naka cfm all right that is the cubic feet per minute that is the air flow rate and then yung 1.08 hindi yan constant all right so saan nakuha yan so derive natin delta t we keep it as the change in temperature that is t2 minus t1 okay yung cp is the specific heat co at constant pressure yung mass as we know Okay, so remember this relationship. Density is equivalent to mass over the volume. Alright, in terms of flow rate, mass flow rate over the volume flow rate. So ngayon, yung mass dyan is basically density multiplied by the volume. Pagka in terms of flow rate, mass flow rate is equivalent to density multiplied by the volume flow rate. So mass flow rate can be represented by this. Okay, density, volume flow rate, CP delta t okay so yung density ng air in terms of or in english system we have the density in english system is equivalent to 0 0.075 pound mass okay per cubic feet all right and then yung volume flow rate we keep it as cfm that is cubic feet per minute all right and then cp sa english system is 0.24 this one is in terms of BTU pound change in temperature, okay? Multiplied by the delta T. So, we'll keep this, all right? So, unit analysis, this will cancel out, all right? 
cancel yan tapos ito mga cancel din later on and then cubic feet mga cancel so ito is naka BTU per hour so convert lang natin naka CFM yan para maging per hour we just multiply this okay 60 minute in 1 hour okay so this will cancel out so ang malitira dyan is what okay using calculator 0 0.075 multiplied by 0.24 multiplied by 60 that is the time 60 equal sign so we have 1.08 so ito yon okay 1.08 cfm cfm multiplied by the change in temperature again this must be in terms of degrees fahrenheit and then yung CFM is again cubic feet per minute. So pag ganito ang ginamit natin, the formula, the answer is automatically in terms of BTU per hour, which can be later on converted in terms of tons. So that's the quick derivation of this formula. So misa nira round up, okay? So as a result, meron tayong 1.1 CFM multiplied by delta T. Okay, so kaya lang para mas accurate. This one is 1.08, okay? 1.08 CFM delta T, okay? That is the sensible heat. All right, so the next interesting formula dito is yung ating total heat, okay? So total heat in terms of BTU per hour, again, in terms of uh, English system, we have 4.5 multiplied by CFM multiplied by the delta H. So, so again, from... Uh, undergrad we have this qt is equivalent to m multiplied by the delta h this is the total heat so ngayon the represent lang yan almost the same kanina mass can be represented by density multiplied by the volume flow rate multiplied by delta h so again delta h is normally in terms of btu per pound this one is naka cfm all right so ang sagot dito or ang unit niya is in terms of BTU per hour. So, parang ganun lang rin. So, we have density is point seventy uh, 0 0.075. Okay? Point zero seventy five pound mass. Okay? Per cubic feet. Ito ay naka CFM. Cubic feet per minute. And then, yung delta H is BTU per pound. Okay? So, naka minute ito. Tapos, ang kailangan sagot is naka per hour. So, that is multiplied by lang sa 60 minute, Okay? 1 hour. So, this will cancel out. Pound, pound, cubic feet, cubic feet, minute, minute. So, therefore, ang total heat is in terms of BTU per hour. So, that is QT. Or, in this case, by abbreviation lang, this is the same, HT. So, 0 0.075. 0 0.075 multiplied by 60 is equivalent to 9 over 2 or 4.5. So, 4.5 multiplied by the CFM. Okay, normally given yan sa mga catalog ng air conditioning equipment. Multiplied by the delta H. Of course, the change in enthalpy. Alright, so ito yung ating total heat. So, sensible heat ratio is the same. This one is GPM. So, uh, GPM of aircon condensate. Okay, so pagka may unit tayo na aircon, you will notice it na mayroong condensate. Okay? Condensate that is due to humidification. So pagka may coil, cooling coil, okay, tapos yung air is nag-pass through here, of course, kanina, mayroon tayong representation na ganito. Alright? Psychometric chart. Ang process ng cooling, okay, and the humidification. So bumaba yung temperature, yung dry bulb temperature niya, and then bumaba rin yung humidity ratio. So, pagbaba ng humidity ratio, ibig sabihin na tinatanggal natin yung water content ng air. So, meron tayong condensate dito. Normally, meron tayong condensate pan na tinatawag. Sinasahod natin yan. Alright. Okay. So, tumutuloy yung tubig. Okay. And then, pinapipe natin palabas ng building. So, that is very normal. So, to calculate that, yung condensate na yan, kasi kailangan mong isize usually yung pipe palabas ng uh, AC unit or palabas ng bahay. So, ito yung formula. So, the CFM, the flow rate multiplied by the change in humidity ratio in terms of pound, 
over the specific volume. Again, makakuha natin yan dun sa psychometric chart multiplied by this factor. Okay, so actually conversion lang yan. So these are the very basic formulas when we deal with air conditioning uh, processes.